Bro, d don't come in here starting all that shit right before we start the live show. If you're gonna have this attitude, we can't. We're live. We're live. If we fuck up, if we have a fucking. All right, we're live. And we're live. Yeah, baby. We are back. It is 2 p.m. on Sunday, March 26th, right now. It's beautiful outside. It's 76 degrees. I'll handle the weather segment Wait, today so because. Is there a chat? There's a chat, but they're gonna watch the chat back there. Oh. We're doing this as a test run. We got a lot of people coming on the show today. A lot of online wannabe tough guys some real tough guys some shit talkers we got a lot of stuff to get into with them we might have dylan danis calling in we might have bradley martin known steroid abuser dealer and he made fun of me for doing cardio the other day so we're gonna have him on we also got mike 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 you want to come in yeah, there mike. we have mike outside but he's talking about nfts and hey i got an nft going on right now what, can i bring like my, my nft computer we're live so we can't cut through the bullshit all the boring bullshit <laughs> and if you start preaching this nft shit to my audience they're gonna get pissed they're gonna start dropping wait there we're live right now this is just a practice run to see if we could get through this live I've done a lot of live podcast stuff. episode without saying anything that is irreversible to our careers. What if your career itself is irreversible? Well, then we're fucked. But we're going to give this a shot. We're going to try it on Patreon. So we have a chance to edit like it out fans? before. Yeah. So we get we get the little option if you do say something horrible today, if you talk about NFTs the whole time, I have an option to cut that out before this goes live to the YouTube audience. How's everybody doing in the chat? What are they saying? Uh, someone said look Mike great. looks rough. Is he hungover? Hey, no, nah, fuck what? I'm fine. He's been going through it. He's been what? going through a tough time. I haven't been going through anything. Is it because my shirt's oh, a little baggy? Oh, someone said I... Mike is going to start sweating. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> not on this fucking show. I love this show. By the way, Same. I love you. And I love you. Thanks, Mike. And I love everyone watching this. Out there in Jeff FM's highly intellectual, extremely intelligent audience. Okay. I would say potentially the smartest, most educated Holy audience. Piss ass. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Because you're starting to sound like this is sarcasm and it's I'm condescending. Serious. Shout out Wysa Whittick. That is nice you started off like that, though, because we do love you, too. And you did send a nice message to Oscar. I think you were looking out for me or something. Or was it vice versa? You were like, thanks for looking out for Jeff. He's been going fucking crazy. Oh, is that supposed to yeah. stay between us? Uh, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> it's yeah. all good. No, thank you guys for looking out. I appreciate it. And I know they do, too, because they ask me things all the time. They're like, oh, we like Mike. So that's cool. And obviously, you know. You know, I don't give a fuck if they like me or not anyways. That's a good way <laughs> okay, to go I, about I don't give a single fuck. Okay, I'm going to say what I say and what I mean. I'm going to talk about fucking heroin and I'm going to talk about NFTs and I'm going to fucking do what talk I want to do. Heroin. Don't I'm talk 30, about NFTs. I am 37. <laughs> Yo, see, I could be your fucking dad. Yeah. There's a bunch of people in this audience watching this right now. I could be your fucking dad. You got wrinkles in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. I know, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking old. You should I, see I've the back of my that head. Lately. I've been noticing <laughs> that. <laughs> see the back of my head, bro. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, well, before we get carried away here, we got a lot of important things to address on today's show. First things first, um, the lava lamp. A lot of you guys have been commenting that it's always off. The bulb busted. I've been fucking busy. I don't have time to get a new a new bulb, but we did get this baby here. Look. Cool. Where'd you get that? You can cue it, Kyle. So when we have cool guests come on, we could we could hit it. I didn't remember to do it for Mike. You throw a so fucking sick. cigarette at me? Yeah, that was no, no, sick. Do it again. It. That was so sick. Steven, we can't edit it out. If you antagonize me to strike you, we can't hide it. <laughs> antagonize you to strike you. All right. Also, we got a lot of other stuff to talk about. We're going to be diving deep into the conflict over in Russia and Ukraine. We're going to get deep into that stuff. I think I might even have figured out a way to solve it. So I'm, I want to talk to you about that. Okay. I watched Rocky Four right. last night. Yeah. And... I know these these guys probably haven't seen it or know even. There's a fourth Rocky movie. See, this is what I mean. This is, I need you around here, Mike. I just put out a tweet two minutes ago. Literally, it was the last thing I did before I came Can in. Can you walk everyone through the plot of Rocky Four? Yeah, but let me say this tweet first. It's very important to this conversation. Mm -hmm. I said today's kids are absorbing potentially the most trash culture in the history of the human species. Yeah, okay. I agree. And I, I thoroughly, thoroughly believe that. And by the way. It's because of the fucking internet. Well, not us. Don't act like you wish you had what we had at your <laughs> at our age. When you were our age, I fucked that up. Do you know what I had at whatever Are you, you one of those guys? Was that, was that Ukrainian? Don't, <laughs> don't pay attention to him right now. What, what? I, what I had at my age? Do you know what I had at my age? 
Do you know how I communicated with people? Legos. You know what this is? I did too. You're like I those fucking too. TikToks that go viral of people saying, oh, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. You're depressed. You're depressed. <laughs> While you make a video online, are you trying to get people to stop watching my show, Mike? Save your motivational <laughs> speeches. Do it on your own TikTok because I want to keep you here. Keep on scrolling, baby. <laughs> you know, do you know what those logs are? What are they called? Kyle, please tell me about the logs that you connect and build. What are they called? A Lincoln, Lincoln logs. logs. A Lincoln logs. Why, I, why I know what that is. Lincoln. I'm not, not that. A Lincoln you act like logs. I grew up with... Uh, I grew up with Legos. I had, a, I had a flip phone when the fence first came out. Tell Ryan to come in here because I already did the weather segment he and he Let does me a ask good. Ask you a question. He does what, a good Rocky what, impression. What show did James Gandolfini star in? The Sopranos. I didn't fucking ask you. But good. Kyle. I didn't ask you. That's good. Oh, I didn't even. I just know that because Jeff keeps talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> but you listen. Yeah. That's that's ask, good. What about Stringer Bell? Who the fuck who is that? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> that's like some old people. What about Breaking Bro, Bad? Who, who has seen Breaking people Bad? People have seen The Wire. Trust me, there. What is that? Wait, Mike. Who? Okay, hold on. This is who? important because honestly, if you guys haven't seen this show, I might send you home and watch all five seasons right now. Breaking Bad. Who's watched it? Yeah, yeah everyone's watched it. it, bro. Everyone's watched yeah, it, right? That's yeah. what you think. Except me. Have you watched it? No, Steven has not. Kyle, have you watched it? Yes. My boy. I, I, I remember watching it in middle school on an iPad the whole summer break. Hit that applause for yourself, oh. bro. You gotta find it. Yeah. Oscar, you haven't oh, seen it, right? Uh, no, I couldn't get into it. I know, it's slow. It's a very slow, dragged out show, but it's for adults. Couldn't get and into it. See, I can relate to it a lot. I relate to it a lot lately, and you guys get to see this play out because you know my team here that's been growing. Steven, is, he's been now placed in the category of talent only. Oscar is behind the scenes. Kyle's behind the scenes. But we kind of have a break and bad dynamic, you know, and... I, at first, I thought I would be Walter White. I'd be Heisenberg because I'm the fucking gangster. I fucking make all the money You're the and one stuff who like knocks. that. You're the one who knocks. I'm the one who knocks. But really, I'm Gus because Gus hires Walter White. Right. He hires Heisenberg. So boss. that would be Oscar. And Oscar, I also have a fear of him dying because I don't know how to use all this stuff. So if he dies, then I'm fucked. You <laughs> That's know? All you care? What the fuck? That's all you care about? But what if <laughs> Kyle, listen, listen, let me get through all of it. So Kyle would be Jesse. Because Jesse just was a crackhead that got mixed up in this somehow and got lucky, and now he's in the mix. Yep. And he is yep. learning from the chef back there, Oscar, who's cooking it up. Look at him he, as he smokes a joint, so disrespectful. Who am I? Who say am bitch. I? Say bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jesse. And I'm Gus because I get half my face blown off. Who pull up a picture of Gus with his ha half his face blown off. No, Why? no, don't pull the pic that picture up. I don't want to. No, it's on. fake. It's from. It's movie magic. Who am I? <laughs> You're probably the guy that. Jesse is friends with, who flips the sign around. You know, he's also a meth head. Look, see, that's me. That's me. Oh, yeah. How? I and that. I own all the chicken shops, and yeah. I make all the fucking drugs. I'm the kingpin, but I die. And then Oscar dies, and then it's just Kyle that lives on to watched... carry this show. It's going to be Kyle FM one day. Oh, do I live on with him? Uh, we could just talk about it later. I watched the whole breakdown of how much Gus makes off of Los Pollos Hermanos. The other it's day? not a real restaurant. Oh, we went well, yeah, there. Yeah, it is. We went there, bro. We went there. We did a road trip. We they went changed to the, the restaurant. Name for the it show. not a real restaurant then. It was just for the uh, show. It's a different name. We tried to buy meth off the cashier. No, no, no. Okay, but forget about all that. I the did, glass. and the kid said he could get me meth. He was I'm, like, I'm, yo, I'm, he in, I'm, 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 I'm in outer space right now. I'm <laughs> telling you something here, man. It's the problem with you kids. <laughs> Listen, bro, they did a whole breakdown of how like much the, is there a motorcycle rolling by? No, that was Josh Richards saying he needs to educate himself about this. Like, they did a full breakdown of how much he makes off of the, the restaurants on the show. Okay. How much each location makes. That's the thing, man. Not all content is trash. There's some people out there on the internet right now that are putting a ton of thought and a ton of work into it. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you for a second. You're not one of them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I, I do want to compliment you. I, I think you are one of them. That's I yeah, think no, you're no. very creative. I called you the other day and I told you this your intro for one of the last episodes was like dude sometimes I literally feel like I'm on acid when I watch your programming you know what I'm saying which that's is that's how I want to feel bro. that's the goal that's what I want that's what I want people to feel you're very creative and I see the creation creativity goes into everything that you do well you know? I appreciate that but what I was getting at when you guys cut me off is I wanted to say thank you to the boys, the bathroom boys, because... Whoa. I, I mean, at what point I do we all just jerk each other off? No, no, no. I'm going to get back to insulting everyone in a second. It, but it. this wouldn't be possible without them, because I, I don't even know how to fucking turn on a camera. I wouldn't know how to do none of this shit. I'm fucking Gus. I got half my face blown off, but I'm still the boss. 
Oscar's Heisenberg in his prime right now. He's still not dead. You are like uh, an extra. I'm just like a guy that an NPC that passes by in one episode. <laughs> oh, you'd be Mike, the badass cop that beats oh, the yeah, shit out of yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. That's super old. Can I be? <laughs> he's super <Yeah>. old, <laughs> <laughs> but somehow he's still able to fuck I wanna people be, up. I want to be Walter White's son. That dude's <laughs> yeah. a badass, bro. Yeah. He really fucking is. Yo, speaking of which, it, it completely separate. You know how everything's like something talk. Like, oh, how did I end up on cartel talk when you're on TikTok and you, oh, it's all yeah, like yeah, gang yeah. shootings in Mexico? Yeah. Did you ever randomly end up on Tourette talk with the Tourette's people? <laughs> oh, Bro, yeah. Have you guys seen this shit? Matthew I just boys? looked into something where a girl faked having Tourette's for like yeah. money. That better not be the main girl that I'm talking about. Uh, I mean, the, the girl that goes, wind it up, wind it up. Oh, have you no, ever no, seen no. that she girl? She got canceled. She's off the internet. She she got can that girl got canceled? You used to oh, have Tourette's? What? Or you can't get you can't oh, get rid of it. You can't even We're say live, that, bro. bro. Yeah, yeah. I Whoa. swear to God, no, what? I did. I can say it all I want. I swear to God. Where are you care? I just go like that. I What's the chat saying about this right now? No, I used to clinch my butthole. I swear, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. clinching your butthole. I'm not trying to be funny. No, I'm I don't think that's how that fucking works. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a tw it's a tick. Oh, that's a dark really. Piece. Yes, that's, that's a, a dark piece. piece. But yeah, there's a girl that I've been watching lately. She um he just he poked his eye out with his sunglasses. Can you get can you get replays? Can I'm not on the live. I, I'm sure we can, but uh, we'll have to dude, put it into the main. The NFL. Speaking of like the new age content, I watch it and I don't know how to feel because she's producing it for us to watch and have some sort of reaction to it. Like, she's not producing it for people to be like, wow, like this is doing a great job of raising awareness for for Tourette's. She, she's doing it to, to entertain with these wild ticks because those are the things that she make stand out in the content. She's but I don't know it. how to feel. She's embracing it. Yeah. Yes, yes, she's embracing it. What's your dating life like right now? That's what you want to go to? I was going to yeah. say there was one more kid who oh. goes on the plane and he goes, I got a fucking bomb. I oh, saw that one. I, I, saw that one. I got a fucking bomb. Yeah, but what do you, how do you, bomb, bomb, bomb. I'm not in on this. Do do? this. I don't even think this is real because Steven just said that he had Tourette's and I, I don't Bro, know. Yeah, I did. I did. No, all the chat, this shit I'm talking about. Someone in the chat said, Steven, that's just your anxiety. Anxiety. Yeah. I got anxiety and Tourette's are, I was, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. are not the same, bro. Our Thank you for whoever that doctor in the chat is yeah, that yeah. just diagnosed Professor, him. You, Professor Dr. Peter. Chat. Anything else from the chat? Someone said, I uh, keep zoning out. What the fuck is Mike going on about? <laughs> <laughs> I know, Mike. All people want to know is the porn stars you're dating. Tell us. You're about to get in another relationship. I met a girl the other day. Do the sex story. Do not. Do not okay, do okay. You, you, were, you didn't. I didn't see you kiss or anything, but you took a girl on a hike with us. She right, was nice. Right. She was cool. Yeah. Is there any potential? No. 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 All right. Oh, there's not. No. No. Do you feel closed off? Like you can't get into a relationship with the content and all the stuff you do yeah. for a living? Yeah. You I do feel like that. I just, I just am not focused on that aspect. Of... Don't let them distract you. Just keep going. So I, when I grew up. When I was 15, my parents got divorced. Oh, yeah? That's Me too. badass. And um, ever since Same. then, I've, I've really have had a lot of trouble finding some any kind of emotional connection. And I... I... <laughs> Dude, what are you going to start crying? I don't know when if this is that music, I always try to put together a song. Because I'm at a crossroads no, in my I, life right now. And I, look, I went on a hike with it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now let's hear Jeff talk about yeah, his talk sex about life. Talk about his sex life. I saw yeah. that. <laughs> your, girl was, your girl was dope, bro. She yeah, was, she's she cool. She runs fast. Yeah, yeah. And I went on a hike with her, and I'm at a crossroads in my life. Do I want to jump into another friend group of social media people to film with, or do I want to have a girlfriend and have a kid and get a bunch of little dogs Family and settle vlog. down? No, but I don't know. I'm just trying it out. You know, I'm seeing what's going on. I'm having I'm, fun hanging with you. I'm having fun hanging with yeah. the boys. Where's, where the fuck is Ryan? All right, today's episode is sponsored by Avast. Avast One is the global leader in cybersecurity for more than 30 years and trusted by over 435 million users. Avast empowers you with digital safety and privacy no matter who you are, where you are, or how you connect. Enjoy the opportunities that come with being connected on your terms. Thank you to Avast for supporting Jeff FM. Avast's new all-in-one solution, Avast One, helps you take control of your safety and privacy online through a range of features. You can learn more about Avast One at avast.com. I personally use Avast because I got tons of stuff to hide on my computer and you know I don't want anybody hacking my data, getting a hold of my data, 
It could be terrible if that gets out there. You want to protect your data. Trust me, data is the currency of the future, and people are after it. Don't let no scumbags take your data. Get a vast one and be safe. Avast prevents over 1.5 billion attacks every month with Avast One. You can confidently take control of your online world without worrying about viruses, phishing attacks, ransomware, hacking attempts, and other cyber crimes. Learn more about Avast One at Avast.com. Ryan's here, the weatherman. Look at him, came in with a bad attitude. Badass. And it's okay because we need to shoot. So sometimes you're gonna be a bad you're gonna have a bad attitude. Because we're human. It happens. I didn't come in a bad attitude. Steve pissed me off. What did Steven, I do? I was in the middle of saying something and Steven goes, I don't care. Yeah, because you started you said like, something to me. You what I, I said. Talking. I was talking. I was like, whoa. Because you okay. interrupted me. I said I, I was actually saying. Okay, something. enough, girls. Right. Let, let me break this down. Because this started yesterday. Look at the fucking name on the wall. All right? Yeah. It's not Ryan and Steven argue and cry FM. You're right. They You're right. want that stuff. They want the drama. Yesterday, we were supposed to shoot, and I I fucking hurt my neck. Go ahead. Get all the old jokes out now. Mike's here. All right? I pinched my neck because we were trying to do were a day blowing, in the life were video. Were you blowing Mike? What happened? No, I, I just knew oh. you were going to call me old because oh, okay. you guys don't understand body injuries that will throw you off. I know it doesn't make sense. He hurt his neck, so I can't do a podcast. What the fuck? But I was in pain because I tried to do this day in the life video with Kyle, which it was a good idea, Kyle, but I, I got a little too into it, and then I got this package that I didn't know that I ordered because I was on Ambien the night before, and I ordered these shin guards to practice MMA training, work on my kicks. It just happened to come in mid day in the life video. So I put them on and I went too hard. I kicked Bob, I fell down, I landed on my neck. I have to turn like this to talk to people and I didn't want to do the podcast yesterday. So I told Kyle, let's not film today. We don't have a guest anyway. It's just gonna be us again, yeah. and everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, this is a whack episode." He, Jeff's not even funny. Seems like he's going through something, maybe a neck injury. Ryan, and if it makes you feel better, the whole chat's loving you right now. They're saying you look good. Ryan's single, right? He looks distraught. Stuff. He looks strung out. I don't know. Yeah. The girls are into it. He's got a oh, Bryce Hall type of mullet going on with the bangs. <laughs> the only one who takes shoes off in the house here. That's a real like. I was just trying to be respectful. It's a respectful thing. I appreciate it, but it's just <laughs> nerve pisses everywhere. Yeah, well, you're are just, you okay? You're just getting. Are you okay? That. Am I? Yeah, I'm, I'm on. Fun. I'm on four Advil right now. Oh, you're back on the. On Holy the fucking <laughs> room. I'm back on oh, four, four Advil. Four Advil is what yeah. we consider drug seeking behavior. Bro, it's bro. four Advil or this podcast wouldn't even be going down. <laughs> but Steven didn't get the memo that the podcast was called off yesterday. Exactly. So he still showed up here and no, he got no, pissed no off. No one said anything. I, all I knew was I was supposed to be here at five. I get here at five and knock no. on the door. I'm like, no one's answering. The door was locked. I looked for the key. It wasn't there. I was like, oh, all right. I called Kyle. Didn't answer. Called you. Didn't answer. Called Kyle again. He answered. I was like, where's everyone at? He's like, oh, I, I told you. It got canceled. So you, no. you, tell me you got oh word. Oh, my God, bro. Uh, you I got no a text from Steven bro, just you saying. Yeah, think I like a you, fish, and I texted you on the way. I, had, I didn't know. I got, I got a text from Steven being like, are you coming to do the podcast? And I was like, I didn't yeah. hear of anything. Nobody all. said there was doing yeah, no. a podcast. It got canceled I texted him. Where's the text? Hold up. Oh, my And then I got no update. I got no update. Let's put this to an end here. Let's kill it right here. Okay. You have every right to be. Well, upset I just texted. With us. I texted Stephen back and I said, hey, "Don't be mad at me." I didn't, no, I should be mad at you. Why? Because you were the one that made me think there was a podcast yeah, recorded yesterday. He told me there's a podcast. I didn't. God, I have to work Order on. in the court. <laughs> we gotta fucking stay on track here. Um, Ryan. Yeah. I'm happy you're here today because you do a good Rocky impression. All right. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out a way to stop this <laughs> conflict in Ukraine and Russia, and I watched Rocky Four last night. Okay. Wait, so. You're not going to stop it. You've seen Rocky 4, right? Uh, no, I've actually only seen Rocky 1. And that's what you base your whole character off of? The whole thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. You did a really good impression. You don't even know what happens to him. <laughs> no idea. Give us a little taste. Oh. Right. Well, I need a second. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Yeah, I, give me something to say. Hey, you, hey, you know where I get some cheese balls, Adrian? You know where I get some cheese balls, Adrian? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, so this guy... Who Wait, talks like he has a speech impediment and he's been hit in the head so many times. <laughs> His friend got punched to death in the ring by this fucking giant specimen, the Russian. In Rocky, Rocky In Rocky Four, Four. Drago? Yeah. yeah. Ivan Drago. He comes in. Rocky he's Drago. like never been fucking touched. Everybody he punches. Everybody he fights. They leave in a casket. If I think there's dies, been like one boxing dies. death in all time. Are you trying to say time. that this is like a metaphor for what's going so on? So Rock, right Rocky was about to retire because he was on top. He didn't need to get back in the ring, you know. Mm -hmm. But his friend gets killed by the Russian, and now he has to avenge his friend's death. So 
they say the only way we're letting this go down is if you come out to Russia and you fight on our turf. Mm. So he goes out there and he's getting fucking booed. And at this time, I think we were at war. Look, they were the Soviet <laughs> Union and we had beef. That's like a Ken doll came to life. I know. He's a giant and he's on a ton of steroids. And as they're doing training montages, they both look incredible. But the Russian is juicing up and they're showing him taking steroids. Ah. Like every clip in the montage is the Russian taking steroids. <laughs> and Rocky's just lifting shit, steroids? getting jacked. But we don't show Rocky taking steroids. Like, look at them. They're clearly both on a lot of steroids. That is this looks propaganda? That looks like Logan. <laughs> is this United States propaganda, Russian propaganda yeah, when we don't show Rocky taking steroids? Russian he just beat him off. Oh, just good old hard work. Uh, <laughs> just say he beat him off. Yeah, uh, Did I say beat him off? Yeah, he yeah. said he beat him off. Well, look at their physiques. They're clearly juicing it, and no problem with it. I'll admit it. I bought fucking growth hormone off the street. You think last both of week. them are actually juicing for the movie? <laughs> they were both actually. A hundred percent. Yeah. Look at that. Look at those fucking. They got like bodybuilder bodies. Rocky goes out there, does the impossible, and beats the shit out of this Russian, and he goes. If I could change, then you could change. You could change. Everybody yeah, could change. Yeah. Hey, and then Jeff, the war is stopped. Uh, everyone in chat does not give a fuck what you're talking about. I, well, they, <laughs> they, 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 they need to go watch Rocky IV. Yeah, we have a unique opportunity here to, to have the chat influence the direction of this programming. I, I don't understand they why said, we're not... Sorry, sorry Jeff, we're not 72. 72. Well, no, I just don't understand why we're not leaning on the on, on the chat for a little bit of direction. Is there a way I mean, we can see like, the chat? If they understood... Yeah, could you pull the chat onto the screen instead of these these pictures of these, of these morons? I like the pictures the of the, oh, I like yeah. the, pictures yeah. of the Jack yeah. morons. Yeah, they're, they're fucking morons. <laughs> It's fucking idiots. <laughs> it's not beating each it's other stinks. off. <laughs> but it stinks. At that time, now this movie came out like 30 years ago. Now the modern day version of that mm. is like Khabib and McGregor, you know? By the way, it came out like 50 years ago. Was it that long? No. Like like no 80s? way. That's 50 years ago. It was like 1989. Oh, yeah, 80s 1989. Like... So like, yeah, like 30, 30 years ago, right? Hey, oh wow, the chat's really influencing. Hey guys, God Mike, bless. Mike, you're boring. Yeah, yeah, hell Mike. yeah, <laughs> fuck Mike. Fuck Mike. <laughs> talk, talk, talk about, about Kanye. Kanye. Kanye no, we're something. not talking about Kanye. We're trying to save the world here. This podcast is different than all the other ones that Mike goes on. We have an objective here to save the fucking world. And I'm trying to figure out how to do it. When when Khabib, when he beat the shit out of Connor, yeah. he could have just been like, hey, you know, I can change. I love you, America. And we could have squashed the beef right there. But instead he hopped out of Dylan Dennis and fucking carry okay, well, you, okay. you want to talk about you want to talk about something timely you're talking about we got a we got a, a, a street brawl between Maz Vidal there oh, we go street yeah, brawl and Maz Vidal. who's right a, who's wrong L Maz Vidal I, I disagree. Know, I mean, the chat will probably have an L chain going on at some point. Can we explain? Uh, yeah, what all right. Happened? So the other day uh, in Miami, everybody's in Miami right now for Ultra Music Festival. A lot of people are down there the week leading in. And uh, Colby Covington had just had this fight with Masvidal. Old um, best friends. It, it, they were old, training old partners. Old best friends. And, and Co Covington had dismantled Masvidal. Was it 50-44? Yeah? Yeah. That's it. They were all saying 50-44, 50-44. Masvidal grew up street fighting with Kimbo Slice days. Correct. Covington was uh, like a high Trained school wrestler. Trump, and yes. Yeah. Colby Covington goes to this place, Poppy Steak, with a uh, popular Great sports. Steak. Great place. Shout out Gr Dave Grubman. Uh, goes to po this popular steakhouse with popular uh, sports announcer Bob Mennery. What it seemed like was Masvidal just shows up at this location and he's pissed off. Covington was talking shit about Masvidal's kids. <laughs> Rocky came out in 1889. <laughs> this shit. No, I'm listening. Sorry, 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 sorry. So... Masvidal comes in and they, they have words are exchanged and Masvidal basically knocks Colby Covington's teeth out. Surgical mask on and hoodie over. Yeah, it. came in fucking like to some jump out boys, bro. And you want us to wear the mask? <laughs> this is what you get. So he knocks his teeth out and in this video... You see the guy, you see the cops all around, and uh, Covington, Covington's like, "How did he know we were here?" And Bob Henry's like, I "Yeah, that. man, I was asking the same question. <laughs> I saw this tweet, and I had all of the pictures that." Manry had posted yeah. of him and Covington having dinner. Miami, what is it? Yeah, they were like what conspiracy. They Maybe the Nelk boys were in on it. No shit, they were in on it. They fucking posted them exactly. Tag, geotag the location. It was no, it wasn't a hard. But hunt they're for, smart. They but they're, they're smart. Doing. So then the Nelk boys then play into it. So now Kyle's online posted. Bob Manry made it happen. Damn. On Honestly, that is a good fucking uh, PR stunt. But it wasn't a PR stunt. These guys had actual. Beef. Oh, and then Masvidal got arrested for felony battery. Yep. Could be facing some serious. Time. Time yeah, over there in Miami Dade. Not um, a place you want to go to jail. Now, in the fight game, you're a fighter, so well, no, I'm not. 
no, I'm saying if you're in Ma- Masvidal's shoes, you're a fighter, yeah. you know? <laughs> now this guy talks all this shit on your kids. Then Covington goes on after to brag more about how he beat him. And I'm the king of this city now. You need to leave this city. Everybody forgot about you. So I'm sure Masvidal was like, nah, I don't give a fuck. I'll take the fucking three, two, three months in jail. I'll get for this and go fucking get my back. Yeah, but, which is what he did. You know, and everybody's torn on it. People are unsure whether they want to side with. I'm kind of like, if you fucking come after my family, you know, whatever. Of but they kind of do that stuff a, a a decent amount, though, you know. In that, in well, that that's why Khabib sport. and McGregor didn't end in the octagon. That's when it's not a sport anymore. That's when you're talking personal. about real personal shit and it moves on past the sport. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let the courts decide. What do you think of that whole business move that the Nelk boys played? They're talking about they're the number one podcast in the world. That's kind of your thing that you started from the beginning. I talked about this the other day. They're doing a great job. They're doing a great job in that show. They, they've secured some really incredible guests, and I think they, they're doing a good job of uh, of being out on the streets, networking, yeah. going to the right parties. Obviously, Shahidi is, is the plug for a lot of those people, and Dana White. They've, they've made great connections. But, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a long – the podcast game is a long game, and – you know, haven't had 330 episodes. I, I think it's probably obvious to any viewer that we have a, a more oiled show and have done it. You know what I'm saying? We've done <laughs> yeah, it for a long oh time. Yeah. But I, but that's not to say that they just started. They yeah. just started. They're crushing it. And they're crushing it. And and you give Kyle is a smart dude. You give him and and Bob a, a a while to hone hone in and 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 you know make their craft what what it's going to be and it's going to be a great show <laughs> turn mike's yeah. mic off oh man we're so fucking old Yo, Gabby, Ernesto you're right. Cabezas. you're right i know i know you dude. no but hey guys i know you don't give a fuck about this stuff but this is well, what do they care about oh, what do they want to fucking no this is what do they want to fucking this, hear about they just said no doesn't have a weatherman I no. mean, what are they? Everybody so, says something different. <laughs> Turn off like, Mike's mic. Mike's the best. Let him talk more. So true, Martin. What is this look, shit? Mike, Mike, Mike. Well, what are we supposed <laughs> to fucking? I'm not saying uh, that. The, the comments you got. It's not that. But what? What do you mean they don't, don't care? You, it's a great topic. Don't read the comments. Take your own advice. Don't read the comments. It's not about the comments. You <laughs> said they don't care about the topic. You said it. Now you have to lie. In what that I bed. was saying is, Mike. Instead NFTs. of instead NFTs. of getting no, jealous no. of the Nelk boys, you could use it as motivation, inspiration. These guys are booking big guests. I want to get bigger guests. DM Elon Musk right now. What do you now. mean we just had hundreds? Just, you you got fucking NFTs over there. Who gives a fuck Whatever. about these fucking? Nah, nah, nah. Trade your NFTs. Whatever. Just don't Who talk cares? about them to them. They're they're saying sorry. Fuck. See, be innovative like us. Get a weatherman. Implement new things that other podcasts don't do. It's not always all about the big shot guest. I, sometimes I don't want big shot. Guests. Our best shows have no guest. Our Same? best shows have no guest. Say our best. You can beyond, be beyond, more free. When beyond one hundred percent. You could talk about. They, they, I'll be it, honest. One thing that the, the the people listening always want to hear about is personal stories. Mm-hmm. They love personal stories. They want to hear. They want to hear you chat the shit. Okay, so should we get into some personal stuff? Well, I got endless topics. I found a dog hike. Yeah, I got all kinds of stuff. Oh, oh yeah, oh, no. I found you found a story. Story. because it's another topic that people don't want to fucking hear. You about. found so, a dog? Yeah. What kind of dog? It's a fucking pit bull. He did it for clout. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I'm walking. I'm going to be no, the first no. guest to walk off, Jeff FM. Uh, People have walked, bro. You Nazi really walk every episode. Even, or <laughs> Ryan walked off. Yeah, actually. I walk off he was like, the first probably walk once off. every other episode. Yeah. It's hard. It's... Okay, so we went on a hike the other day at Runyon. People will take their dog, their old dogs. Oh. Yeah, sorry, yeah. their old dogs. Bro, the neck. I know it doesn't make sense that the <laughs> neck affects my speech, but it hurts so bad that it's gonna, it's fucking painful. But I'm here. I'm doing it. We're on the hike. You really are, and a Grandpa. This uh, this is why I didn't want to do the podcast with you yesterday because it was really bad yesterday, and you would have roasted me on the on the neck and my joints being old. Well, but you're not. Th- here's what you could have done. You could have said nothing, and then there'd be no roast. Listen, I really wanted to save this one for Paul. But this could be a Jeff FM exclusive. This is a great story. I found the dog. I know. I, it's our story. We I know. Did, we well, it's, together. that's why it's our dog. story. We should all, we should co-own it. Okay, we co-own it. <laughs> I'll give so, you the footage. All right, all right, all right. I'll give you the footage so you can put it in the next night shift. I already fucking have Second book. So oh, from, Kyle, you sent from, him the footage bro, around He came me? to my house. I did. I showed, me, I, did. I showed up at his house. Co-write a book. What the fuck, Kyle? No, I did. He was. I. I. He had to. He had no choice. All right, I guess I approved it. We're hiking at Running Canyon. We got this girl with us. We're shooting content for the night shift. 
and very popular LA hiking trail. Very popular. That LA people trail. will bring their dogs to when they don't want them anymore that's and leave them there. Gar- I that's, see them there but, all but the also, time. That's it's like real. A, you're talking about outliers. The majority of people that are walking their cute little dogs, they're on hiking dates, they're there after work. It's a very quick, it's a 45 minute hike up and down. So we go up this trail and we get to the to the what's considered the top. There's like a water fountain and we see this poor little sad pit bull. That is Sick. quite literally hanging off the side of the cliff. I mean, he's. he's I found he's, I found the dog, and I told you the story that people leave their dogs here. It's a I common. I know you thing. told me that is story, that but I didn't. I yeah, think about is. taking dogs home, but I'm like, now I got to think: Is Nerf gonna like this? That's dog? actually true. People just leave yeah. their dogs. I, I see I, them all the time, but Mike, you say I, I've never seen it, but you've been there okay, three times fine. in your life. Fine. I go there every day for the past ten years. <laughs> So I see these dogs. I know it's a problem. Uh, haven't done you, anything to stop the problem. Do you bring food? Uh, I, if you know there's dogs there that need like yeah, you food, didn't, you don't bring, do you bring any food? Sweaty treats. <laughs> you just fucking. Uh, I, you just I knew there sick dogs. I knew there were sick years. dogs there, for, and you've been Mike, there a thousand times. I'm Mike gonna, is filming an episode of his night shift, his YouTube vlog <laughs> show, and he has a girl there that he's trying to impress. I see the dog eating grass. The dog is a skeleton. Oh, dandelions. Like it's, little, the little fluffy yellow weeds. ones. It's weeds. a pit bull, and you see its ribs. You see it's got ticks all over it, mm. and it's been... And uh, its nipples were... It's very, been given... Yeah, it's yeah. been like bred tumors. like three times, so every time you breed a pit bull, these scumbag dog breeders Scumbags. that sell the dogs, yeah, the, they'll get yeah. the most out of the dog. So yeah. every time you breed the dog, it's taken one or two years Correct. off its life. Steven, so, you want to lose weight? We should just drop you off at Runway. So we, so we see this, so we see this dog Eat weeds. eating weeds, and you know it's also a pit bull. And Nipples I look and all, all fucked down. up, and I look around and I don't see anyone that appears with We're it. Like and going up to everybody. People, the thing is, is people do at this park let the dogs off leash. I didn't know. Maybe the owner was up the hill a little bit, but we we stood there for 15 minutes. We didn't see anybody. So we start trying to coax this dog off the hill. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Like you know, you got a lot to to live for because <laughs> yeah. he was literally hanging off the side of the About fucking mountain. <laughs> Right, so 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 he comes he comes back up, and we find out that the thing's got a little leash in his collar. In the collar, it's like a retractable. Oh. So we so we pull the leash off, and now I, I'm frantic. I Thank start God, because you're going to quit uh, if it didn't have that leash. We didn't gonna... know what to do. So I I take the dog, and I'm like, okay, now we got this to do for the rest of the night. This is going <laughs> to take hours, but we have to do it. And you know, there were there were certain people, not in this group, but in the extended group, that were like, let it go. Like you're going to fucking really do this shit. Let the... I'm like, dude, I'm okay, not. Liam's found... from another no, country. No, stop. I do. We don't have to say names. But I, you know, I found this dog. Now this is my fucking responsibility. What'd you it name is it? my responsibility. What'd you name it? Did you uh, uh, I had a name for it. I can't remember what it was now. Is it at home right no, now? No, can I? We're sorry, almost sorry, at the sorry, end sorry, of the story. We're, We're like mid-story. Halfway. We're mid-story. So I get this dog on the leash, and I start walking it down, but the dog doesn't want to go down the hill. It only wants to go further up <laughs> beyond this like false apex. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see where the dog takes us. Maybe it takes us to its house. Maybe it takes us to its owner. We can beat the snot out of the guy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So he Scumbag. keeps going up the hill, going up the hill, going up the hill. So we're walking. I'm making phone calls. David's calling <laughs> shelters. Everybody's trying to figure it out. All of a sudden, these two jacked not jacked, but like, you know, Mike gave bags. the dog heroin. That was a, sorry. That was a good one. I mean, is it a good one? Uh, the, is it even a good one? Mike gave the dog heroin. Like, <laughs> is that e- like, I, if you say jokes, they have to be funny. Get, rate it, Steven. That was kind of Mike amazing. gave the dog hair. Wow, that's a good it one. Like, is that sense. even it funny? Make sense it's not even. Point. It makes no. Yeah, yeah that so, doesn't hit. so we're walking up the hill. I just find it funnier that you find it funny. That's why. I'm Maybe laughing. when you were describing the way the dog looked. You so could have so that one. we're walking up the hill and we see these two dudes come out, and we're walking past him and he goes, "Give me my dog." And I go, "What did you say?" He goes, "That's my fucking dog. Give me my dog." And I go. We just found your dog hanging off the side of a mountain eating plants with its ribs showing, its nipples all inflamed, all fucked up. At least 300 yards he away. He goes, he goes, she's fine. No, she's, you had her, you had her. No, you, she oh, wasn't no, alone. No, I, yeah, yeah, I go, I go, I go, she was alone down there. He goes, no, you had her. You were watching her. What she's, the fuck? She's fine. Give me the dog. Smart ass Smart remarks. ass. So I give the, the leash to the guy and they keep walking away and we're like, what the fuck? How did that just happen? Like these dudes literally are, are assholes. I go, yo, the dog like said something like dog about the dog being fucked up, and the guy, dog the other guy, sick. turns around and goes, "She's she's not starving. She's just allergic to corn balls." Ooh. About us. Now oh, I'm like, oh, that's oh, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So I of course have no right leg. And so I'm like, what did you say? But like, in reality, I couldn't really, they're down the hill. I can't get to them. Like, yeah, they barely right even way. walk. Well, I have a bad ankle. Oh. So he, this athletic uh, superstar, uh, animal lover. starts hopping after him, you okay. know, with the camera rolling. Uh, and he well, goes, I didn't know Kyle was rolling. Kyle stayed rolling him, on that. That was, that was cool. That. So I just, I start skipping down. He turns around as I'm taking off my glasses, ready to whap. Cause I don't like people that abuse animals. 
Um, how about we abuse you, pal? That's not how it went. Uh, what do you mean, Kyle? You were behind me. I took off the glasses, and he said, why are you following me? Why are you, you were, chasing you were me? Like, it's and a I said, public, I'm yeah. skipping, pal. It's a public park. I heard you just called us cornballs yeah, for right. saving your dog. And he goes... He's like, it was a joke, bro. He was a tough guy like five seconds ago. So I was like, then okay, then out. apologize. <laughs> and then he said... I'm sorry, right, bro. Right, yeah, cool. I'm sorry, man. They then, ran off with the dog, and then like, Mike was like, "Thank God, because I didn't want to put that dog in my Range Rover. I just got it washed, <laughs> and it was going to be such a headache. Get those ticks all over my Range Rover." No, but I was. It Did was it actually become my responsibility now. And as the dog was walking with the, the owners, uh, you're like, "Watch out! Like she has ticks and all that." He was like, "No, it has cancer, it has tumors," and I was like, "Oh, is that why you left her here? We didn't leave her here. We didn't leave her here." And they're just being like arrogant assholes. Yeah, and now they're gonna be famous because they're gonna be on the night shift. Oh, you got? Are you gonna blur their faces? No, I'm not gonna blur their fucking <laughs> oh. faces, bro. Oh, I might have to fight these guys next time. Run no, I want to go save fucking dogs all day. I want that to be my job. I'm joining Animal Control. Uh, okay. We got we got a quick ad real quick. Here, jealous for pussies. What is this shit? You want to look like a man? Use pomade. Oh, good stuff. And pull brides like Don Draper. Yeah. Be a man. <laughs> yeah, I want that sponsored ad on, on Facebook. Nah, you won't be able to do that. You can bleep it. Yeah, just bleep it. Yeah, I guess maybe you're they'll right. put or maybe they'll put it on trash programs like the Night Shift <laughs> or pre roll Jeff FM. I would love to run that on the Night Shift. That's my demographic. I'll give you reduced rates. Well, you got ninety three percent male audience, right? Yeah, we're fifty fifty over here, yeah, so I, I cater to I the know. women. Trust me, I know. I'm eighty six. I feel like we really didn't talk enough about Rocky for oh, and yeah, God, the chat didn't give a fuck. Christ, there were some things that I would like to change in that movie if I could go back. I know it was created forty years ago, but you know how boxing movies they won't show the whole fight. I would like to see the whole fight in duration. You know, all twelve rounds. It, but it's oh, not a real fight. Yeah, but still, I, I want to see it all play out. I would even like to see the post-fight interviews, you know, <laughs> like go into all that stuff. That's just some notes that I would have for Rocky if they made another one, you know? Play the full duration of the fights, even if the movie's eight hours How long. How long is a fight? How long is a fight? A boxing match is like 45 minutes. Yeah, so you want most of the movie full, to most be the Most movie boxing. to be the fight, yeah. So just watch, just watch a, boxing. Yeah, just watch a boxing match. Just watch a boxing match. <laughs> why, even, why do you have to watch a movie watch. about a boxing Well, you would rather watch a fake boxing match yeah. than a real one. Yeah. <laughs> Too what? Because boxing matches, they're they're too fast and too good, and it's like I'd rather so, watch it, you know. I want, let's have a real talk real quick. I want to see. I've never on camera heard you have like a real. I mean, yeah, you have, but my last let's four have a, episodes have been crying about my eye. No, not about your eye. Something like uh, everyone's died. We know yeah. about the eye. <laughs> oh my god! So, uh, two minutes. Let's talk about something deep. You know what I mean? Something that's like get it out of me, Stephen. You have learn. permission. I don't know. Fuck. Well, I'll see when someone else would pick up what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, you looking at me? You're good at that. Yeah. You think I'm gonna introduce another topic on this episode or this show no, ever like again? Educational. Or like, I will never, ever. Let's talk shit on first somebody. First of all, even come on. This yeah. Show, yeah. Ever again? Right. I'm done. I'm sure the audience is fucking. All right, we got a caller. Here's a smart guy. I'm finished. He knows a lot about uh, supplements and fitness stuff. Bradley Martin. You know him? You got Bradley Martin. Yeah, he's here, actually. Oh there he is. Oh, my God, it actually is. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? This guy could eat that? me. I brought you on the show today because I bought some HGH off the street last week Do because I, I want to heal faster. And uh, Kyle is also, hes he thinks he has low testosterone, so he's wondering if he me. should get some. Do I need testosterone? Oh, this guy here. I mean... I don't know, man. You got to get your levels checked. Do first. a visual ob observation. Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah, have yeah. time to send him to doctors and get his levels checked. I can't afford a doctor's visit. I mean, I don't know. I want to. I don't want to disrespect the guy, but you know. we, we've been disrespecting yeah. each other. That's what this show you is. Give me some. He looks sick. <laughs> he looks. Very I can't sick. get you any. I'm actually not a drug dealer, to, to believe it or not. Bradley, I'll be going on your podcast next or tomorrow, actually, right? Tomorrow, that's right. Yes, sir. Okay, do you have anything planned for that that you could maybe give me a heads up on? Are we going to have any physical competitions between each other? Maybe do like... I, I, honestly, I thought we were just going to fight and then do the podcast. Oh, uh, what kind of fight? Because I just got shin guards. Are we allowed to use my new kicks that I've been working on? I've been watching YouTube videos yeah, on I mean, them. just like a fucking, like a brawl, just a straight up brawl, and then we'll talk about it, and then we'll talk about like our feelings and shit. I think that'll be good. That kind of sounds mess. like it's what a we great do over here. It's a great show, by the way. I've yeah. been on it a number of times. With Clyde. It's a great show. Now, let's say you and I went up and like, because you're like one of the probably the, probably the most popular fitness guys on Raw the talk. internet. You right. know? You listening, Mike? Yeah. Or you flipping NFTs? No, bro? he's just telling me. I he's got answering me a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
We, we got the guest here. I, I got sidetracked. Okay, there, 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 there's a live oh, audience that's wondering NFTs. what the show is, probably. So I asked Raw to show? Raw Talk with Bradley Martin. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great show. There's been a c- number of episodes recently where you could watch me ramble for hours. I think I talked for three hours straight the other day. All right, Bradley, if there was some sort of physical like competition with 10 different events, let's say maybe we set one up, which ones do you think you'll beat me in? Obviously, powerlifting, which doesn't mean anything in life, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, cardio, I would, I would smoke you in. I'd you say would get me in cardio. You would get maybe me in a high jump. A no high, shot. A high jump. No, no shot. You, no, no, he no, would destroy you. over the pole, brother. <laughs> this dude, this dude, I shit you not, can jump over a basketball. How he's so he big. Is, he, I've never in my life seen someone of his stature jump as high as this. Dude. That's he's like a, the Hulk. Movies. He's like a spider, dude. That's like the Hulk could just jump super high in movies. It doesn't make sense. He's so strong. He can dunk. He, just, he can dunk ten feet. How yeah, tall? How tall are you, Bradley? About six three. Damn. Do you use steroids? That just, that, I'm gonna pick some <laughs> some challenges. I say we we round it off at ten. Um, I'll leave high yeah, jump in it. there. Pick home run derby. Want. Home I'll run derby. Everything. Oh, home run derby. I got you. Ooh, who can hold their breath under the water? Ooh, that's well, good. That's, oh, that's, that's, good. That's, that's like a cardio one. I think he's gonna get me on that one. We oh. gotta even the playing <laughs> field. You know, we can't give you all the easy ones that work for you. <laughs> who can who can get their dad to say that they're proud of them faster? Oh, oh, my dad is yeah, yeah. That is sadly dead. Yeah, that was oh, really that was shit. Actually, that know, actually was the, the worst. Get the, the fuck out. The worst yeah, thing I right, could have on my way out. Yeah, yeah, I'm really sorry. Was, I didn't know. I don't know who you are. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, my dad. My dad died when I was six years old, man. He hung himself. You got any more good jokes? You oh, fucking, oh, fucking idiot. idiot. I don't know. No. I don't know. Bradley, I'm sorry. Bradley, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry, man. I'm really okay. sorry. I'm happy with you. I'm, I'm just being. I'm, I didn't, I'm excited well, to come no, on the not show fucking tomorrow. Fucking he's telling the truth. I know. Shit, I know. Hey, th- I'm not a piece of shit. I didn't know. Please don't. I'm sorry. No, he's I'm not. Sorry, he's bro. not. He had no idea. God. No, he's actually a research guy. He does. Di- <laughs> no, that's, 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 he said it on purpose, Brad. No, he said it on purpose, Brad. No, I'm not. He did. He knows that. I am not the research guy. He knows it. I just asked what your show is. I don't know who you are. I'm sorry. I'm not into working out or something. You don't know who he is. Off. No, I'm gonna. It just keeps getting worse. Did I, you I, do your research? All right, Bradley. Thank you for coming on. I'm sorry we disrespected you like that. Oh my god. Oh, no, I see that guy oh in person. Tell him I'm gonna. I'm gonna fuck him up though. That guy. In the yeah. Guy. Nice. As you should. My name is my as daddy Steve on Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to like DM me and stop. Brad, yeah, I'm, I'm looking, for, right. I'm looking right, forward to tomorrow. Steve, if you want to send me a bad okay, let him go before he disrespect him more. He's actually going to come fucking strangle you <laughs> with one hand like this. I said in the beginning, I said that guy could right, later, kill Brad. me. Later, later, Brad, thanks, you. Brad, Bradley. I'm sorry, Brad. I didn't mean to say that. I, I'm I pumped for know. tomorrow. Hey, I didn't know. No, it's, <laughs> no I know. It's just idiot. funny because what happened to you? It's definitely not Man, that guy will fucking murder you, bro. Yeah, I know that. Shot. Wouldn't be going to any gyms anytime soon, man. Yeah. To, I would just do your workouts at home. Shit. Anyway, right, so iDubs challenged you to a fight, but you couldn't do it. Wait, yeah. what? About yeah, 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 yeah. What? Well, I had, sur- I had eye surgery. And you thought it was a Mr. Beast thing. Wait, what? Yeah, I thought I was I was saying if it's a Mr. Beast thing, I don't want to be involved in and it. And he was like, it's not a Mr. Beast no, thing. No, he's seriously fighting. He, yeah. he yeah, put no, together he's a whole he, he was gonna be on, He asked Jeff to be the main card with him, but Jeff couldn't do it. No, yeah, I wanted to. We had three talks about it we were He's planning scared. it out i would have loved to yeah, that'd be you're a great scared of you're scared, scared of i-dubs you're scared of i-dubs actually give him respect for wanting to take the fight he already got a guy but maybe you can get on another fight i told him i would like to commentate on this one and when i could get cleared by doctors so i don't look like a psychopath fighting directly after i got eye surgery so as i'm going into eye surgery i would have a, a thing going around on the internet promoting that i'm having a boxing match yeah, and then the doctor would be like, "Well, what I'm not fuck fucking doing surgery." Your neck hurts, and then, and then. you should do a drinking game where where every single time you say "I doctor" or "crane," you have to take a shot. I'd be, I'd be so fucked up by that. That's good. I don't drink. I never drink. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I dubs. Mike is hot for an old guy. <laughs> no, Doctor Mike. I, oh, I dub said that he he talked <laughs> shit on the he talked shit on the two other people, but not you. He said you're a great guy. Yeah, I linked it with Taylor because I was like, yeah, Taylor will love, Taylor will love to do this, but. Taylor wanted like money. I would have done it for charity. I just wanted to know what charity it was for. That's why I said, "Is this a so Mr. Beast the, thing?" Why would it? Why would it have been a Mr. Beast thing? Yeah. Because he organizes all the big YouTube charity would, things. Why would I dub the Mr. Beast? Yeah, thing that's not like a. Not even maybe he wanted world. to use his resources, his team, because he has a very large. But why did team you assume that? Organize that? Events. <laughs> why did you assume that? <laughs> 
Mr. Beast has never done a boxing. <laughs> that's like, what I'm getting. That's, that's such so a weird, weird assumption. Honestly, he called me randomly when I was on a hike, and I had my service kept cutting out, and I was like, "What? You talking what about Beast? Is, talking this? About is this a Mr. Beast thing or what? I no, don't I care." Oh, die dubs. Yeah, Beat because Beast calls creators all the time. It's like his thing. If you make a video, did you know on that? Him, like a parody, <laughs> he'll, he'll Just, reach yeah, out to you, and he'll he does. Be like, what? What's up? Why are you? Oh, what like yeah, yeah. Damn. So he's on it. You he probably knows see this. what I said, even that I brought up, Mister. He probably is probably watching right now. When does this abuse end? We gotta go. Otherwise, we're gonna be able. To, we're gonna miss. We're gonna miss my my thing. But I haven't done my segment about mental health yet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually have a mental health segment? Yeah, it's thirty minutes long. Oh, okay. Now I know you're lying. You don't have the wherewithal, okay, attention everyone, span, or up. research capabilities <laughs> to to complete a thirty minute mental health segment. I'm gonna get no, into not. it right now. No, get not. to chapter. All right, everybody, listen to G Unit. Um, and get to chapter two of Think and Grow Rich. Let's go. We got to go. Otherwise, we're going to miss the sunlight for this burger review. All right, everyone. We love you. I hope we didn't say anything that is irreversible and our careers are finished after this. But if they are, who cares? You know? probably finished anyways. We fell off. Hey, guys. It's fucking over. Steven, you added a lot today. You added a lot. Thanks. All right. That's it. Wrap it up. Good work. Good work, guys. You have to Hey.